Florida Congresswoman uh, Kat Kamek uh, set to join us. Uh, Congresswoman, are you there? Yep, I can hear you great. Congresswoman, thank you so much for taking some time. Uh, if you could, obviously you just sat through the, uh, the speech. What are your initial thoughts on uh, President Biden's State of the Union? Well, I got to tell you, it was a little disorienting, first from the yelling and then the whispering. Uh, it, it was a little weird from that standpoint, but more, more importantly, it seemed like there were two State of the Unions. It seemed like President Biden couldn't decide whether or not he wanted to uh, send a message of unity or attack Republicans because he seemed to talk about both in the same breath. He conveniently forgot about Chinese spy balloons uh, that dominated the news cycle for the last week and, of course, left out uh, the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. It, it was really a, a speech that was divorced from reality in so many ways and pretty concerning that in some of the most dire times that we've seen in the regulatory state that is really forcing uh, American families to make tough decisions, historic 40-year uh, highs for inflation, on top of all the other challenges that we have going on, he seems still content on a highly partisan agenda that is more about political wins than getting things done for the American people. So disheartening, but at the same time, it just shows us that Republicans, we've got a lot of work to do. Congresswoman, does it also show us that there's a lot of, uh, not just a lot of work to do on behalf of the Republicans, but that Democrats must do the work as well? How do we get to a place called unity and common ground for the common good of the American people to do what this president has talked about, heal the soul of America? How do you see that? How do we personally get involved in healing the soul of America uh, despite uh, what we hear and see from this president, but what we must do in Congress. You know, I, I think it starts with doing the opposite of what President Biden did tonight. You can't talk about unity in one breath and then attack Republicans in the next. That is exactly where the trust starts breaking down. Furthermore, I feel that he was in incredibly disingenuous in talking about issues that impact all Americans regardless of, part, regardless of party affiliation, especially in talking about the border and fentanyl poisonings. In one breath he says we need to pass only his bill, only he can fix the border, but then disregards the fact that Republicans have been calling for security at the border for years. We have talked about the fact that the, the source of this fentanyl that is poisoning and killing 300 Americans a day is coming from China and subsequently being processed and then trafficked through Mexico into the United States. These are all facts that he conveniently ignores. On the front of uh, the economy, he talks about only a made in America. But in the next breath, he's talking about taking on corporations and conveniently omitting the fact that he is regulating American industry out of business. So he really can't have it both ways. We've got to get back to that place of unity, but that starts with putting your money where your mouth is. And in this case, he has done anything but. Congresswoman Kat Kamek, thank you so much for taking some time to join us.